Hi, Brad. Well, one year later, the memorial for Asia Denson is still up here, not far from the stretch of Reading Road where Asia Denson was struck and killed a year ago. The stuffed animals are still here. They're still in pretty good shape, but the balloons have been deflated. But the memory of Asia Denson lives on, as does the belief that the man allegedly responsible for her death will be caught. Yesterday was a tough day for Asia Denson's family. Her sisters say they shared a lot of memories and shed a lot of tears. It's, it's, it was hard um, getting through all the crying and having to think about it and being in the same house that she used to live in. So we all trying to get through it together. We used to be outside with each other. I used to always mess with her, prank call her phone when we'd be in the same house. One year ago last night, Asia can be seen in this surveillance video wearing a blue coat sitting on a metro bus. Moments later, she was struck and killed by a speeding car traveling north on Reading Road. Later, the striking car, this silver BMW, was recovered. The windshield was shattered. Lawrence Dangerfield left behind his DNA. He was later indicted by a grand jury on charges including aggravated vehicular homicide. Dangerfield also had five previous DUI convictions. So far, he has not been caught. It's very frustrating. This is a terrible crime, and uh, the police department and the community both want closure for Asia's family. Cincinnati Police Lieutenant Bruce Hoffbauer says officers in Roswell, Georgia, nearly caught him two months ago. And they were prepared to do a SWAT call up if Mr. Dangerfield was inside one of these apartments. Uh, unfortunately, I think when they finally got there, he was gone. Police say they are confident. They say it's a matter of time before they catch Lawrence Dangerfield. I'm confident he'll be picked up. You know, we, we wish it was, you know, last year, uh, and it might be a little bit into the future, but I'm confident it'll happen. It's just hurting us even more knowing that he's still out there and he know what he did. And Brad, police say they believe the danger field is still somewhere down south, possibly Georgia or maybe even in Florida right now. But they still think that someone here locally knows where he may be, and they want those people to step up. Live in Bond Hill, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Brad, back to you. All right, thanks very much. Police believe that Dangerfield that day was driving 80 miles per hour in a 25-mile-per-hour zone at the time of the crash.